Welcome back to What's New. Some of our local wineries are getting national recognition for their sweet stuff. Debonay Vineyards, the largest estate winery in Ohio, is one of them. They recently won major awards during the San Francisco Chronicle competition. That is the largest competition for American wines in the world. We spoke to some of the guys behind the wine on their double gold win and more. It's a really big deal for not only us, uh, but for the reputation of the Grand River Valley of region. Debonay Vineyards has many reasons to raise a glass tonight. They just won double gold for their Chardonnay, gold for their ice wine, and silvers for their Sauvignon Blanc and Riesling in a recent national competition. Tony Debevic, owner and president of Debonay Vineyards, says this is just another big win for Northeast Ohio after winning best of class last year for their Chardonnay. Cleveland's not going to be just known for beer, you know. It's going to be the wine and beer capital of the Midwest. <laughs> 48 judges blind tested nearly 5,700 wines from more than 1,000 wineries nationwide. Debevic says winning the award for Chardonnay is huge, given it's one of the most popular types of wine. But to beat out California, considered one of the top winemaking areas in the world, well, that's especially huge. People came over to the tasting and immediately asked what part of California, California are you from? I said, no, we're from Ohio. And the, the looks on their faces were across the spectrum. We're just so proud to, to be part of that group. There are 16 wineries within a six mile radius of Debonay Vineyards, with eight other wineries in the outlying areas in Northeast Ohio. I think that's what's really important to the consumer in Cleveland is that we really have some good wines out here. We really do. Now, the growth of the wine industry in Lake County is something special and certainly something that the area should be very proud of. We also want to give a congrats to three other Ohio wineries who received medals in the San Francisco Chronicle competition. That includes Valley View based Ficara Cellars. Lorello Vineyards in Geneva and Solon based North Coast Wine Club. Congratulations to all of them. When you beat the California Vineyards January, that is saying something. <laughs> now, the fine folks at Debonye sent over a, a bottle of their double gold winner. This is unoaked Chardonnay. This is the this is the one that took the big award here. Uh, we have already gone through the process to make sure January has a glass up there. So January, I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a little taste and then we'll do a little live taste test. Are you ready? We'll raise a glass to a good I'm rest ready. of the show. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Cheers. Now, I should say I am Drunk by no already. means. No, I'm just kidding. This is really good. <laughs> I'm by no means a, uh, a connoisseur. Um, not really a big wine drinker, but I will say that ha it has absolutely no bitter aftertaste. It tastes very Nothing. good. I can see why it won the award. So smooth. Yeah. I think I, I understand why. It's absolutely smooth. It's just the perfect sweet versus, you know, uh, uh, what do they call it when it's uh, a rich wine? I can taste notes of oak and berry. Uh, you know how they do that. <laughs> but anyway, it is a wonderful wine. Congratulations. This is really good. And yeah. I will be drinking the rest of the glass in the commercial break. Very good. So a